Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. In this video, I got some awesome, exciting news. I just did a video on the 3.5 update, but I did not realize how significant one of the features was uh, or is. Um, we can now do remote play with PS4. You can play your PS4 from anywhere in the world, okay? This new update allows that. As long as you have a laptop with a decent graphics card and a decent internet connection, it can even be Wi-Fi. All you need is between 5 and 12 megs uh, per second. I mean, as long as you have that, you have remote play. So here's how we do it. This is by Lewis Blaine. Uh, this is on GameRadar.com or whatnot. I'll have all that links and all that good stuff. Uh, he put a real good tutorial up, uh, so I wanted to kind of bring this out and let everybody know. Uh, so Lewis uh, or, or Luis Blaine, I apologize if I mispronounce your name. I I do not know you, so I do not know the the correct pronunciation of your name. I apologize about that. Uh, Louise or Lewis or uh, Luis Blaine, I appreciate this information. Uh, so step or well, this is kind of more the uh, the, the description right here. Uh, PlayStation 4 system update 3.5 arrived today. And while it doesn't have the most exciting name, it does have quite wondrous ability to use remote play to stream your PS4 to your Mac or PC. But how do you actually set it up? So we're about to go through the process right here. Uh, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail uh, than the article does. I actually go through the link that they set up to actually, uh, you know, it shows you step by step what to do. So I'm going to lay all that out for you, okay? All right, so step one. Um, the first thing you have to do is head here, and I'll show you what here is, that link. And download the PS4 Remote Play app for Mac or PC. Bear in mind that you need to have Windows 8.1 or Windows 10 or greater or OS X 10.10 or OS X, OS X 10.11 to run the app. Say that 10 times fast. Jeez. Uh, once you've chosen your format, download the package and install the app onto your, your Mac or PC. Run it. And the first thing it'll want to do is sign you into your PlayStation account. So before we get to the back to the PlayStation part, I'm going to show you what the link uh, where it says here in orange. I'm going to show you what that is. All right. Uh, so first of all, you go to it, when you click on that, it'll sh it brings up this website right here, uh, PS4 Remote Play. It's an app, and you basically select what system you have, Windows or Mac. Um, then the next option, it, or it says getting ready right here. Uh, this is what you need to have: a computer, a PS4, DualShock, USB cable, network account, and high-speed internet up to 12 megabytes uh, per second. Or megabits, whatever, however you want to say. Um, installing the application, click on the links below to download the, ins the installation file for PS4 Remote Play. Uh, so you click on the once again the link uh, for what you have, PC, PC or Mac. Uh, then you run the installation file. The installation dialog box appears. Follow the on-screen instructions to install the application. During the installation, you might see requests to download additional software that's needed to run the PS4 Remote Play app. Uh, so go ahead and do all that. And then you'll be setting up your PS4 system. Enable the remote play, all that good stuff. That, that, we'll show you that later here on the actual P, uh, the PS4 network. Uh, so using remote play, you can turn on your PS4 system or put it into rest mode. Connect a controller to your computer with a USB cable. Launch the, PS, the PS4 remote play on your computer. And then click the start button. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sign in with your Sony Entertainment Network account using your PS4 system. Uh, you'll need to register uh, your PS4. All this, just read through all this stuff right here, um, and then it will go on to say or go on to check out when your remote uh, play is not available. It's basically like a troubleshooting guide. Um, it says you know recommend uh, high speed internet access. Uh, the connection to your PS4, they they want a wired connection. That's the best, as always, is the best uh, to to hardwire your uh, your internet to your PS4. Um, using Wi-Fi uh, wireless connection uh, from the modem. Uh, make sure there's no obstructions if you're doing uh, wireless and stuff like that. Make sure there's not like a lead door in front of you or whatever <laughs> between your, your router and your PS4. Um, and then this kind of goes on to a little bit further about the system requirements. you got to have Windows 8.1 or Yosemite or El Captain Mac uh, I, I, for Mac Talk or whatever. Now we're about to go back to what you need to do on your actual PS4 console for the setup, right? This is step two right here. Okay, so go into, uh, now you want to head into your settings on your PS4 console and go to Remote Play Connection Settings and hit the checkbox to enable Remote Play. Also, if you haven't already, activate the system as your primary PS4 in the PlayStation Network and Account Management page. So that's really, it's very easy. You should already have your uh, PS4 as your, as your main one. Uh, that way, anywhere in the world, when you access it, it'll access the games and things on your primary PS4, which is really, really cool. Uh, so that's what we're about to get set up right now.
Uh, now, step three, set features available in REST mode. You're kind of tweaking your account or your, your, your settings for this. All right, so now if you want to be able to wake your PS4 via remote play, you also need to head into the settings menu again, but this time to head to power saving settings and then set features available in REST mode. Select the check boxes for staying connected to the internet and enable turning on from network. This now means that your PS4 is yours to access from wherever you want and wherever you have internet connection. Hello? Hotel room PS4 access anywhere anywhere you want to go. So now you have that access it's so cool I mean, I love this feature. I did not realize the significance of this now, This is step four finally plug your DualShock 4 into your PC or Mac using your USB cable and get started The remote play app will then hunt for your PS4 and connect once you're logged in You can make above window full screen and then you're good to go the control still functions as normal And there's and there's pleasantly no need for any button replacements like the PS Vita so, I mean, that's that's freaking awesome. This is so cool. I can't wait. I, of course, have Windows 7 because I'm old school like that, but I will be getting Windows 10. Um, then once you're logged in, you can make the above window. Okay, I already read that. My bad. Uh, of course, everything is speed dependent, and Sony does advise a minimum of 5 megs for your PS4 to stay stable. It also recommends a wired connection for both your PS4 and your, commu and your computer. Um, he, uh, this person goes on to continue saying they were playing Assassin's Creed. Uh, they only had eight megs, uh, and it was Wi-Fi, and they were still doing pretty good. Um, you can change your resolution, all that good stuff. I mean, so you can do a lot with it. It's really, really cool. It runs in 720 or 540. I mean, it's legit. So I hope this helps out. This is a full tutorial on how to get uh, your remote play set up for your PS4 and play your PS4 from your computer anywhere in the world. That's awesome. You can go to internet cafes. You can go anywhere. Anywhere you got a, uh, a decent internet connection, you are good to go. And you can play your PS4 anyway or anywhere. Uh, uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for the illest of realest content in the game. It makes you guys just smash. I mean destroy. Just stomp out that like button, all right? It would really be appreciated. Uh, I hope this helps out once again. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next one, all right? You know what to do. Stay dangerous. All right, peace.